Good morning friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to visit Kukureshwar temple. This temple is situated in Junnar Taluka of Pune district, Maharashtra. You can easily come from Pune and Mumbai to visit this temple. This temple was built by Shilahar kings in 10th century AD. This temple is Hemadpanti style temple. So friends, let us go and explore this temple. Now I have come to Kukureshwar temple. At the first point we get to see the relics of the Shikara. In a course of time the Shikara of the temple might have fallen. Now this temple is under archaeological survey of India. Hence they might have collected this relics and kept it here. Kukreshwar temple was built by Shilahar kings in 10th century. The construction of the temple is of Bhumi style. This temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. So we get to see Nandi Maharaj outside the temple. Also, we get to see Nagadevta, the statue of Nagadevta and Trident or Trishula with Dambru, the weapon of Lord Shiva. At the entrance of the temple, we can see the threshold where we get to see Chandrashila of threshold along with Kirti Mukhas. Then coming to the left side of the entrance, we get to see Shaiva Dwarpalas, Apsaras and you can see here Jaladevta holding the Kalash. You can also see the carvings of Lotus Birds. Then we can see carving of Lord Ganesha on the forehead of the entrance. Also, we can see Dwar Shaka at the forehead of the entrance where we get to see the carvings of various Shaivagans, Rushis, Gods and Ruttangans. Now I have come to Sabha Mandapa of this temple. On right side, I can see Dev Kosta, a miniature temple where I can see carving of Goddess Kali. Over the period, the carving has worn out. At the left side of the Sabha Mandapa, we can see another Dev Kostak where we can see 
sculpture of Lord Shiva and Parvati. The Dev Kostak is a miniature temple and outlined with beautiful carvings. Here we can see Goddess Parvati sitting on left palm of the Lord Shiva. Just to provide the details how beautiful carvings of Jaladevta, Kirti Mukhas, Pillars and Ves and Moti are made on the outer line of the Dev Koshtak. The pillars of Sabha Mandapa are having square shape. The top of the pillar is decorated with Bhareksha. Since the pillar is having four faces, so we get to see four Bhareksha carrying the load of the temple. The horizontal pillar of Sabha Mandapa is adorned with the carving of Shiva Ganas holding garlands and going to pray to Lord Shiva. The top of the Sabha Mandapa is having carving of lotus flower shape. It is very beautiful carving and made from single rock. Coming to the Antarala of the temple, we get to see beautifully carved pillars. Here we can also see the carving of Lord Ganesha. Also, we get to see carvings of Nutyangans and various Gandharvas. The top part of the pillar resembles to lotus flower. Where we get to see Bhareksha having six hands. The horizontal pillar shows the carving of Shaivagans, Kirti Mukhas and the carving of lotus flower birds at the bottom. There are four pillars in the Antrala. These are the first two pillars. Friends, here I also got to see the carving of Jaladevta on the face of the pillar.
as i said earlier the top part of the peeler is made like a lotus flower here i notice that the leaves or corners and the bottom are undetached that means the corner and the bottom is in union even i notice that a finger size object can be passed through the hole made between the inner portion and the leaves so what i think that this entire shape is made from the single rock so precisely and intricately inside the temple we can see bharakshas in various poses this bharaksha is having six hands upper two hands are holding the load of the temple middle two hands are having weapons and the lower hands are resting on the lap aside you can see other bharakshas also we can see kirti mukhas also on the pillar in the antaral of this temple there are two dev koshtaks the right side dev koshtak we get to see stone statue of lord ganesha in the left side dev koshtaka the statue kept is not identifiable because the idol is worn out but i think the statue kept there might be of shiva parvati because i notice nandi maharaj like figure carved at the bottom of the statue friends coming to the entrance of the garbhagruha we get to see the same sculptures that we saw at the main entrance of the temple i mean to say we get to see here the sculptures of kirti mukhas apsaras jaladevta shaiva darpalas and various types of designs likewise at the main entrance we saw carving of lord ganesha here also we get to see the carving of lord ganesha the difference which i notice here is at the main entrance we saw the dwarshaka where we saw sculptures or carvings of saints and shaivaganas but here we get to see the carvings of five goddess and nine gods the sculpture at the top of the garbhagruha of five goddesses i think they are of goddess lakshmi saraswati parvati brahmini and goddess adi shakti then coming to the nine miniature sculptures of nine gods they are i think navanarayan or navagraha i am not sure whether they are navagraha graha or nine planets or navanarayan the video is of poor quality hence i have attached here a clear photo of the entrance of garbhagruha and outline the carvings of nine 
गॉड्स एंड फाइव गॉडेस कमिंग इन टू दी गर्भगृहा और सैंटम सैंटोरम वी सी स्टोन शिवलिंगम at the top of garbhagruha we can see marvelous and beautiful carving of lotus flower it is also made from single rock now i have come outside to explore the exterior of the temple the original foundation of the temple is made of foundation stones keeping over and interlocking with each other coming ahead and observing the foundation stones of this temple we get to see dev koshtakas on the outer wall of the temple also here in this dev koshtaka you will see a idol or sculpture of a god but i am not able to identify of which god this sculpture or idol is but i think it might be of virbhadra or lord vishnu also we can see a lot of varakshas sculpture of bharakshas at the top of the temple friends i notice unique carvings made on each foundation stone this might be to identify the correct foundation stone at that time also i notice miniature carvings of camels swans and birds when the temple was built that time camel was not in use as a mode of transportation but still we see the carvings of camels in the temple outer wall of this temple is profoundly decorated with beautiful carvings so friends uh, likewise i mentioned earlier that this temple was built by keeping stones over each other and interlocking them so here i found that interlocking mechanism if you see at the arrows you will find the protruding beads under the top stone of the temple and they are the interlocking mechanism so it's a like a building block toys okay where we people now use for the kids to make any form of shape okay or any size of shape so same thing was used 1000 year back so they made this temple by you know introducing this interlocking mechanism okay so this protruding part goes into another cavity or we call it as a female cavity and locks there so ancient builders they would make this temple any size any shape and it lasts for thousands years without any you no know, damage or destruction until intervention friends since the temple is very old and ancient so we do not get to see here gomukh or makarmukh i mean to say the carving of gomukh and makarmukh above that we can see a dev koshtaka of bhairava where is smashing the evil at the top of the outer wall of the temple every part is carved with various bharakshas and shaivaganas 
coming back to the temple there is another dev koshtaka of bhairava it is exactly at the back of garbagruva and here we can see the bhairava is dancing fiercely friends as we saw the miniature sculptures of five goddesses at the entrance of the garbagruva the same five goddesses we can see here but in a detail and in large sculptures at the top of the temple we can see the detailings of the sculptures even the top of the temple is dilapidated moving ahead we can see another dev koshtaka of kal bhairava where kal bhairava is holding damru in right hand and human skull in left hand one of the incarnations of lord vishnu is varaha avataram and here we get to see beautiful sculpture of lord varaha we get to see in a sculpture lord varaha is trampling the demons coming back to the entrance of the temple at the left side dev koshtaka we can see sculpture of standing lord ganesha in the complex we can see the ruins of the temple like here we can see rock hewn image of shiva parvati and lakshmi narayan the ruins of sculptures in and around the temple give us fair idea of the regality with which this shrine was conceived 1000 years back every inch of the temple bears artist stamp with exquisite sculptures intricate carvings and unique layout the design of the temple is distinctly of hemada panthi style there is a mountain ahead of kukudeshwara temple from where the drip of water flows to the temple and this appears somewhere at the temple but it reappears at the back of the kukudeshwara temple through this gomuka and then it flows ahead taking the form of the river and the river is called kukudi river because it originates at the kukudeshwara temple friends this is what about the kukudeshwara temple do subscribe and share my videos if you like my videos please let me know through comment section